question one determine if the following are in proportion so what is a proportion first of all so if any given two ratios are equal and they are said to be as proportion so we will check for the a part 15 is to 45 well 1 15 is of 15 and 3 15 is of 45 that is the simplest form and here 0 0 get cancelled out and 4 1s are 4 3 4s are 12 therefore indeed they are equal therefore we can say they are in proportion b part now 33 is to 121 now 11 is a factor 3 11 is a 33 11 11 is a 121 now here 3 3 is a 9 3 3 is a 9 3 2 is a 6 well, we can see they are not equal therefore they are not in proportion now here 24 is to 28 12 2 is a 24 and 14 2 is a 28 further reducible 6 2 is a 12 and 7 2 is a 14 so we get 6 is to 7 now 18 to the 36 and 24 to the 48 similarly 3 6 are 18 and 4 6 are 24 so again when we compare these two ratios 6 is to 7 and 3 is to 4 they are not equal they are not in proportion now d part 32 is to 48 well if you see here 16 to the 32 and 24 to the 48 for the reducible 8 to the 16 and 12 to the 24 now 2 4 is a 8 and 3 4 is a 12 so 2 by 3 now 0 0 cancel out or you can also say 35 to the 70 and 105 to the 210 and similarly 75 is a 35 and 21 5 is a 105 now 1 7 is a 7 and 3 7 is a 21 so you can see here these are not equal 2 is to 3 and 1 is to 3 therefore they are not in proportion now e part 4 is to 6 while 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 and here what we have 4 to the 8 and 6 to the 12 for the reducible 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 and you can see 2 and 3 and 2 and 3 are in proportion f part factor of 11 3 11 are 33 and 4 11 are 44 similarly we can say here that 325 is 75 and 425 is 100 now again the ratios are equal 3 is to 4 in both sides therefore they are in proportion second write true or false against each of the following statements so a part 16 is to 24 is proportion to 20 is to 30 again we have to do the same thing in all these questions so let's do for the first part so we have to do it in like checking the first two ratios and comparing it with the second two ratios in order to find whether they are proportional or not so first part is 16 is to 24 8 to the 16 12 to the 24 4 to the 8 and 6 to the 12 and at last 2 to the 4 3 to the 6 so 2 by 3 is the basic form now here 0 0 cancel out and indeed they are equal therefore they are in proportion b part 21 is to 6 7 3 is a 21 2 3 is a 6 and here 7 5 is a 35 and 2 5 is a 10 so they are equal and therefore in proportion c part 12 is to 18 6 to the 12 9 to the 18 and 2 3 is a 6 3 3 is a 9 for the other part 14 to the 28 6 to the 12 and 7 to the 14 3 to the 6 so you can see they are not in proportion because 2 ratio 3 and 7 ratio 3 are not equal now d part 8 is to 9 well it is not further reducible it is 8 3 is a 24 9 3 is a 27 therefore they are in proportion now here what you can do is cut the decimal first of all because when we divide 0 0 get cut now here you can see it has factor of 13 now 13 4 is a 52 and 13 3 is a 39 therefore become 4 is to 3 now when you match it with the other ratio 4 is to 3 is not equal to 3 is to 4 now the last part well first of all let's do it 5 to the 10 2 to the 4 so 5 is to 2 is simplest form now here 0.10 into 9 gives you 9 and 0 0.04 into 9 gives you 0.36 just dividing by 9 now again dividing by 2 so we get 0 0.05 and 0 0.02 now this get cancelled out and we remain with 5 is to 2 
So therefore, they are in proportion. So let's illustrate in the elaborated way. So this was your fraction. Now to make understand more. So 0.9 can be written as 9 over 10. And 0.36 can be written as 36 over 100. 100 goes up in case of division when we convert it to multiplication. So now 0, 0 cancel out. 1 9 is a 9. 4 9 is a 36. Alright. Now 2 to the 4 and 5 to the 10. Now in numerator, we multiply 5 into 1 to give you 5 and 2 in the denominator. Therefore, it came 5 is to 2. Therefore, it is in proportion. That was your second. Third, are the following statements true? Number A part, 40 person is to 200 persons equal rupees 15 is to rupees 75. So we have to see the proportionality here. If both the ratios are equal or not. Well, we can cut person to person and 0 to 0. 4 ones are 4. 5 4s are 20 and in, in this case rupee rupee will get cancelled out. 15 ones are 15, 5 15 is 75. Therefore, yes. 1 is to 5 in both cases, therefore the statement is true. Now here liter liters can be cancelled out. And also kg kg can be cancelled out as well. Then 7.5 twice is 15. Therefore, ratio is 1 is to 2. Similarly, here 5 to the 10, 1 is to 2. Therefore, in proportion. Now here kg kg cancel, rupee rupee cancel, therefore 11 9s are 99 and 5 9s are 45. Here also 11 4s are 44, 5 4s are 20, ratios are equal, therefore the statement is true. Now D part, meter meter cancel, second second cancel, now 32 twice is 64, therefore 1 is to 2. And 6 to the 12, again 1 is to 2, statement true. E part, kilometer, kilometer, cancel. R's, R's, cancel. Left with numbers only. 9 5 is a 45, 12 5 is a 60. 3 3 is a 9, 4 to the 12, so 3 is to 4. Now 4, 3 is a 12. 5 3 is a 15. Therefore, ratios are not equal, therefore, statement false. So that was your question third. Question fourth. Determine if the following ratios form a proportion. That is, two ratios have to be equal. This ratio has to be equal. This ratio has to be equal to other. This is what proportionality is. It is just the comparison of two ratios. Now also, write the middle terms and extreme terms where the ratios form a proportion. So these middle terms are called middle terms and first and fourth are called as extreme terms so we have to write only for those who we found true so now in first case you can see here that units are not same so we will convert one meter into centimeter therefore one meter equal to 100 centimeter now centimeter centimeter will get cancelled out 25 fours are 100 therefore one is to four is your required ratio in this case why because 25 fours are 100 now here rupee rupee cancel units are perfectly all right now Rupee rupee get cancel out, 0 0 cancel out, 1 4 is a 4, 4 4 is a 16. Yes, the ratios are true. Therefore, what we write? Yes, they are in proportion and middle terms are 1 meter and rupee 40. You have to write the initial values, not the converted ones. Now, extreme terms are first and fourth ratio. Therefore, 25 centimeter and rupee 160 is your required answer. Now, B part, units are same. We need to change them. Little letters cancel out. Let's cut them. Now, 3 13s are 39 and 5 13s are 65. Now, here, bottle, bottle cancel out and 3 to the 6 and 5 to the 10. So, the ratios are same. Therefore, we write, yes, middle terms are 65 and 6 bottles. Now, extreme terms are 39 liters and 10 bottles. Just remember the initial values, not the converted ones. Now, C part, kg, kg cancel out. Now, 1 to the 2, 40 to the 80, the simplest form is attained. Here, gram gram cancel out, 5 5 is a 25, 125 5 is a 165, or you can divide by 5. 5 and the 5, and 5 to the 10, 2 5, 5 5 is a 25. Now, 1 5 is a 5, 25 again divided by 5, 5 to the 10, 2 is left, 5 5 is a 25. So, they are not equal, therefore, we don't write even the middle and extreme terms. Now, D part 200 ml, well, here units are different, we will go to milliliter from liters. So, 2.5 means 2 complete liters and half liter. Therefore, 
2500 milliliter 2000 plus 500 milliliter now milliliter and milliliter cancel out two zeros cancel so 2 is to 25 is your required ratio in simplified form here rupee rupee cancel 2 to the 4 and 25 to the 50 so what you can see here we'll cut that so 2 to the 4 and 25 to the 50 now here the ratios are equal therefore we will write yes yes for this question yes middle terms are 2.5 liter and rupee 4 rupees 4 and extreme terms are 200 milliliter comma rupees 50 so this was your last question question number four